James Kaufman, World News Report today. Over the JPL Laboratory, we've got two rocks that are going to come extremely close to Earth, i.e. another close shave. This rock looks like uh, it's inbound for the 26th tomorrow, and it's coming from under our planet, if you will, this is 2025 SS7. Now, this space rock information just released today is going to fly between Earth and our moon tomorrow on the 26th of September. Some good things happening here, though. It's going to go actually closer to the moon than Earth, which is fabulous. It's only moving at 5.5 kilometers per second. And the rock is around 12 to 15 feet in diameter. So this is a no problem. We'll take a quick look at that. All right. It was actually announced to us today, the 25th solution date. One day, they first saw it yesterday of observations, 30 total observations. Condition code 5, terrible. Now, zero means they know exactly how big the rock is and where it's headed. And nine being, they have no idea how big the rock is or where it's headed. So not a great condition code, but we should be okay with such a small rock if they're even close. And again, it's supposed to uh, pass closer to the moon than Earth. Seen by our AI software. Let's get a close approach time. So they have updated this, and it's going to come much closer to Earth than the moon, it looks like. This is tomorrow at 1737 which is uh 1237 noon if you will or uh pm 1237 pm tomorrow it's going to fly by and it's going to be actually twice three times closer to the earth than the moon now, this is still going to be about 80,000 miles away, so it shouldn't be a problem. It won't pass the moon until the next day, and that's going to actually be three times further out. So it is going to be closer to Earth than the moon, but a small rock, not moving very fast, with not a large inclination. Now, let's look at the next rock we have coming in on, I believe, the, well, let's see. All right, also just released by JPL Propulsion Laboratory, 2025 SS5. The other one was SS7. And it looks like a very, very similar uh, orbit, actually. It looks like it's coming in for a closer approach on the 28th. 28th, which is in three days from now. And there's your closer approach here to Earth. It's going to be much closer to Earth than the Moon. This rock's moving twice as fast as the other rock, at over 10 kilometers per second. Uh, and this rock is thought to be about 35 to 40 feet in diameter. Let's see what the condition code looks like. All right, looking at some miscellaneous details. This rock was spotted two days ago on the 23rd. They... We examined it over a two-day period, only 20 total observations. Solution date released to the public today on the 25th, uh, because I report them on the day they're released. Now here we have a problem, a condition code of 7, very close to that 9, which is highly uncertain. Here again, they think the rock is moving at, believe it or not, only 8 kilometers per second. And it's coming up at a slight inclination from under our planet as well. They believe it to be 30 to 40 feet in diameter. But with a condition code of 7, they're not real sure. It was seen by our AI software, as you can see here. This is going to be the 28th. Let's get some pl uh, close approach data. All right, here we are on the 28th, 29th. It approaches Earth first. Ooh. It's like a really close shave here, point zero 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 seven astronomical units. I will give you all a miles on that real shortly here. And 
Looks like it's running right at 8 to 9 kilometers per second here. That point is 0, 0, 0, 6, 0,0069 right here is your actual distance. And then it's much further away from the moon at point is 0, 0, 0,002 astronomical units. And that would be on the 29th of September. Now it makes its close approach on the 28th to Earth at 22. O for UTC time. That translates actually into 5.04 p.m. on the 28th Central Time. 20, uh, 22.04 UTC time. 5.04 p.m. Central Time on the 28th. Now we're not real worried about the close approach to the moon. Let's see how close point zero 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 six nine is taking well, into account the diameter of Earth because it's measured from the center of Earth. All right, close approach on the 28th again. And the 28th is going to be Sunday. And again, that's going to be just after 5 p.m. in the afternoon. And it looks like uh, point zero 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 six nine astronomical units. It's going to be around 55,000 miles minus Earth's radius, which is about 4,000 miles, leaving us still. This rock is 51,000 miles out, although it does have a condition code of 7, so they're not quite sure about its trajectory or its size. We'll have to keep an eye on 2025 SS5, and again, that will help make its close approach on September 28th. The other rock, 2025 SS7, will make its close approach tomorrow afternoon, but it should not be a problem and should be much smaller. With that said, God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.